So Henry, why someone should use relational blockchain to de develop something? Relational type is based on mathematics. Uh, they have uh, several advantages. One is that you can have a central data store. The second is that you can have validation, what is correct data. You can do that by just saying the, the, the properties, using a logic language saying that this is the information I could put into this database. Uh, this is acceptable information, this is not acceptable information. You don't need to do programming to do that. You can declare how the logical structure of structuring information behaves as a set. So you can use primary keys, foreign keys, various technologies that are available in this in these uh, SQL databases to define what is the correct data. So make sure that you can always have integrity. This is the correct data. It's also a programming model in a way. So a relational databases basically have one implementation as a language and that's SQL. It's not the prettiest language on the planet. It has some limits. Uh, it's very verbose, it's easy to make bugs, etc. We are trying to make a new language, RHEL, that improves on this. Less lines of codes, which usually leads to fewer bugs, and, and it's a lot nicer to work with, more static typing and things like that. So yeah, relational uh, blockchain is basically this concept. So There are other blockchains from other vendors that, you know, you always end up there. You need to search for information, then you need to store it somewhere that it's easy to retrieve. So a lot of applications have this, you know, we're listening to messages on the blockchain, storing them in a database in order to be retrieved later. Uh, what's the difference is how much you are integrated with this model. For a relational uh, blockchain, I would say that a, a good one should also have validation uh, like it makes it everything integrated into one unit. Problem is if you have one blockchain and one database that you can become out of sync, for example. And the validation needs to be done on the blockchain layer, so you need to do that manually. But you know, why if you have a validation logic that can sit in the database? Comparing to blockchains, is, is, it's more of uh, the speed to make applications. That, that's one thing. You know. It's easier to do applications. This is based on logic and it's, it's a high level language. If you can compare it to, you know, why would you use a database? It's a non-question. Everyone wants to use a database. You, you, you can, in principle, have everything stored in files and you can code reading in files from C or some, stuff, but no one does that anymore. You use the relational database because it's easier to use and more powerful. Um, so that, that's the core core thing is it's easier to develop applications and if it's easier it's faster and cheaper as well uh, and uh, it's also about uh, security it's, it's easy to define validation and, and correctness in in a logic language that you can only define it define it once it's just like programming languages evolve and it's hard to see for someone that's not a developer why would you why are you using uh, Python or why are you using JavaScript instead of, of C++? You know, sometimes you, you meet this old developer, I use C++ in school and it was great, but young kids are using new languages all the time and, and uh, they're doing that because it's easy to, to express ideas. You, you can do it faster and uh, easier and, and uh, that's something uh, aesthetically attractive as well. So, so that's one reason I think in particular if you're using uh, our new language really it's um, aesthetically pleasing, it's fast, it's powerful so that, that's, that's the, the core idea I would say. Yeah. I, I mean, also I mean it, blockchain is about data and managing data so, so uh, thinking that a linked list of transactions is the best way to, to manage data that's quite naive you know comparing to something that's been around for tens of years in implementations.
Thank you.